everybody. Uh, this is Taylor Sparks, and thank you for joining me for this playlist on materials informatics. Now, if you're watching this video, then you're already on YouTube probably, and you've already found our YouTube playlist for materials informatics. And in the last time I taught this course, you can see that I put a whole bunch of my lectures on here, but I didn't put all of the in-class demos and I plan on doing lots of those. In fact, if you hop over to our GitHub site for this class, if you go to github.com slash sparks, spelled with an eight instead of an A, uh, slash materials informatics, you'll see that we have my course notes, which is, you know, I take the PowerPoints and I turn those into PDFs and you can see those for all of our lectures. Those are already there. We'll be updating those and adding more, of course. But there's also these worked examples and homeworks, right? So if you want to follow along, like in class, when I go over things like Naive Bayes or Random Forest and I actually show you typically Jupyter Notebooks of how to actually work with those things, I think that would be really valuable. <clears throat> so if you want to follow along, you can find those here on GitHub. And you could, you're could you always welcome to download those one at a time if you want. Or I think a much better way to do it is actually to click this green box right here for code and make a copy of this GitHub repo on your own computer. It's really easy. If you click it, you'll see right here this option to open with GitHub Desktop. So you'll need to download GitHub Desktop ahead of time. It's free. And then when you click it, it'll you know it's going to give you the option to open it. And it's going to say, okay, I'm going to make a copy of this repo. This is the one where it's taking it from. And it's going to tell you, you know, it gives you the option to put it somewhere. So by default, it's going to be where I had it just before, before I deleted it for this demonstration, which was in my you know, Google Drive and my teaching folder in this specific cold folder for this class. And then it's going to create a folder called Materials Informatics. So great. I'm going to go ahead and clone it. And it's going to take just a couple of minutes, but then it's going to take and make an exact copy of all the stuff that you see here, the homeworks, the course notes, everything. All this stuff will now, you'll have a local copy on your computer. So let's give it just a second to download and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so that took just a minute or two. It's worth waiting though, because now it has created a local copy of everything on that repo right here on my computer. And as I make changes to this uh, actual repo, it'll actually update yours in real time. It will fetch it in real time and make the changes. So <clears throat> what's cool is, and as I make changes, I use the same tool to push those changes to the GitHub repo. And you can do so too, actually. If you have ideas for content, like if you've got a really good homework problem or a you know Jupyter Notebook for something or an example, you can actually, actually request to send those to this main branch and I can actually merge those in. I've actually had a couple of students uh, help me developed some content for this course in the past, like Sterling Baird, the amazing. And this semester, Andrew Falkowski are actually contributors on this repo. So if you've actually got ideas, I'm not even opposed to having you be a contributor for this content so that we can all learn together. But one thing you can do here, right here it says, view the files of this repository in your Explorer. So this is actually gonna open up the folder on your computer where now you can see that, yeah, check it out. All the exact same content that you see in this GitHub repo has now been cloned on my computer. So if I go to this worked example, you know, tomorrow, for example, we're going to go over simple linear models. And sure enough, here you've got the iPod, you know, the Jupyter Notebook. Um, and you've also got the data that we're going to be using. We're going to actually build some simple models using some Hall patch data. And if you want to follow along, now you'll be able to do so because you'll have access to the actual files that we used so that you can see, you know, for example, as we talk about how to build simple linear models, it's got the code blocks. You'll be able to do all of this right there with us, which I think is really cool. So I hope that you will continue to join us, not only for the lectures that we have up here, but for the additional in-class demonstrations and worked examples that I think will help um, solidify some of the learning for this content. Okay, see you in the next video.